the so-called free trade agreements are not free trade agreements. In fact, to a large extent, they're not even trade agreements. These are investor right agreements. Uh, there's a reason why they're kept secret from the public. Uh, and as soon as you look at them, you see why. Notice I say secret from the public, not secret. They're not kept secret. They're not secret to the uh, corporate lawyers and lobbyists who are writing the detailed regulations, of course, in the interests of their uh, constituents, not doesn't happen to be the public of the world or their own countries. So these are highly protectionist uh, uh, for the benefit of uh, uh, private power, so-called intellectual property rights, uh, uh, raise, uh, uh, effectively raise tariffs. They're called patents, but ver which have an enormous impact on economies, great, uh, uh, wonderful for pharmaceutical and media cor conglomerates uh, and others. Investors, uh, corporations, are given the right to sue governments, something you and I can't do, but a corporation can, to sue governments for harming their future, potentially future profits. Uh, you can figure out what that means in such cases are already in the courts for, uh, they're not in the courts, they go to private trade uh, adju adjudication groups made up largely of corporate representatives. They're already going on with uh, NAFTA, uh, and uh, we can expect more of them. Uh, there are uh, provisions that undermine efforts at uh, regulation, including, incidentally, uh, regulation of environmental uh, 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 dangers. And rather strikingly, uh, the phrase climate change does not appear in these 280 pages, uh, which are illustrative of the whole uh, structure.